Peter Dinklage was destined to be an entertainer on the stage and screen, fighting adversity and overcoming challenges he faced throughout his life. Almost giving up on his dream and passion, he made one final push to be taken seriously. Follow along as we chronicle the life and work of Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage was born in New Jersey in 1969, and from an early age, Peter was a performer, putting on puppet shows with his brother in the basement. His first taste of actual success came in the fifth grade, where he played the lead role in The Velveteen Rabbit. In a People magazine interview, Peter said, quote, When you get your first solo bow, that feels pretty good. Peter chased that feeling throughout his high school years at the Del Barton Prep School for Boys by joining the drama club. His love for the theater really began to blossom. After high school, Dinklage attended Bennington College in Vermont, where he studied for a drama degree. At Bennington College, Peter made some lifelong friends and was involved in many more theater productions. After college, Peter and a friend moved to New York City with the intention of breaking into the theater scene. It was a tough and painful road. Not only did he struggle to find steady acting work, he struggled to find an agent to represent him. Dinklage is a legit actor. He didn't want to take on stereotypical dwarf roles like leprechauns or elves. He wanted and deserved serious character-driven roles. Those early years in New York, Dinklage was literally a starving artist and on the verge of homelessness. His friend decided to leave New York and Dinklage was left alone and broke. He had a really tough adult decision to make. Continue being broke in debt with no real long-term acting or get a nine to five steady job. He chose the steady job and got one as a data processor. He stayed in that job for six years knowing in the back of his mind that this is not what he's meant to do. This is not where he wanted to be. At almost 30 years old, Dinklage made a decision that would alter the course of his life. He decided to leave the world of data processing and go back to acting, and that no matter how small or foolish the role was, he was going to be a working actor from here on out. And yeah, there were some pretty weird indie films, Dinklage had his film debut in 1995 with a small role in the independent film Living in Oblivion, alongside actor Steve Buscemi. The only place I've seen dwarves in dreams is in stupid movies like this. Oh, make it weird. Put a dwarf in it. This would be the first of four movies they worked on together. Buscemi truly believed in Dinklage and was an advocate for him in those early years. Peter landed a role the following year in an off-Broadway play, The Killing Act, written by Tom McCarthy. From 1995 to 2002, he played a bunch of small supporting roles. Are you Dr. Bronfman? Yes. Is that a little boy? Well, no, Puff. This is a dwarf. I guess they prefer to be called little people, isn't that correct, my good man? In actuality, I prefer to be called Dr. Edelstein. Ah! His path crossed with writer Tom McCarthy again for the film The Station Agent. The script was specifically written for Dinklage. This was a breakthrough role for him and a chance to prove that he could handle a lead role. It took several years to get funding and go into production. The film was released in 2003 and was an instant indie hit. Dinklage was nominated and won several awards on the indie circuit. Also in 2003, Peter was in the movie Elf, and no, he didn't play an elf, but a children's writer who got to dropkick Will Ferrell and put him in a headlock. It's one of the best scenes in the movie. Look at you! Ow. Hey, what's From 2004 to 2006, Dinklage made appearances in several films and TV series. Notably, his excellent performance in the movie Lassie and recurring roles on Threshold and Nip Tuck. He starred in Death at a Funeral, the UK and US versions, and branched out into voice acting for animated films. Ultimately, though, the role of a lifetime came in 2011 via HBO with the series Game of Thrones. 
playing fan favorite Tyrion Lannister. Dinklage played this role up through 2019. He went on to win several awards, including four Emmys. It's been a long road. Dinklage had to throw caution to the wind, take on some bizarre roles, eventually proving himself worthy as a leading man in Hollywood. He's an inspiration for anyone who's lost hope under difficult circumstances. He managed to rise from the bottom and smash stereotypes. I personally can't wait to see what's next. Also, if you haven't seen the speech that nearly broke the internet, Peter Dinklage's commencement speech at Bennington College, you need to see it next. I'll leave a link in the description. As always, thanks for checking us out and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos just like this.